Hello friends, today I'm excited to bring you a brand new tutorial about Mimic PC. If you're not familiar with it yet, let me explain. Mimic PC is an amazing platform that lets you run powerful AI tools like Comfy UI and Stable Diffusion, all without needing your own GPU. So let's dive in and explore everything it has to offer. First, head over to the Mimic PC website using the link provided in the description. Once you're there, click on free launch to get started. Next, you can log in using your email or Google account. As once you're logged in, you'll see this interface. You can also access it by clicking on add new app. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, this site is available in multiple languages, including Chinese and Spanish. All right, now on this interface, you'll notice a variety of tools like Chatbot, FaceFusion, Comfy UI, and many other popular AI tools. If you wanna run any of them online, all you need to do is click on Get Started. In today's video, we're going to learn how to perform face swaps using the Face Fusion AI tool. Let's dive in and see how it's done. All right, first, locate the Face Fusion tool on the interface and then click on Get Started. Now it's time to run the Face Fusion tool online. Now select the preferred version and choose the hardware configuration based on the AI tool you're using. For this example, I'll select Medium. There's also a new option called Bargain. If you choose this, the system can't guarantee long-term access to the machine, so I recommend selecting Instant while using Face Fusion for the best experience. In here, you can set the duration for how many minutes you need to run the machine. Don't worry, you can extend the time while you're using the app. You also have the flexibility to shut it down and turn it back on later if needed. After setting up these parameters, simply click on Create to start running your AI tool. All right, now you can see your Face Fusion tool is up and running online. Here you can view your available time, and if you need more, simply click on Extend to increase the running time of the AI tool. In this tool, you can choose from processors like Face Swapper, Age Modifier, and Face Enhancer. Using these options, let's walk through how to swap a face in a specific image and video, step by step. First, let's swap the face of an image. To do that, select Face Swapper in the processors. If you want a higher quality image, you can also select Face Enhancer. You can keep the face swap model as the default option. In the Execution Provider section, you can choose between CUDA and CPU to optimize the processing speed of your image. So now it's time to upload the face you want to use for the swap. Simply upload a photo with a face into the source section, just like I'm doing here. Next, upload the target image where you want to swap the face into the target section. All right, now we're all set to swap the face in our image. Before proceeding, you can preview the result here. As you can see, the face looks a bit blurry, right? To fix this, you can use the face enhancer or boost the face quality by selecting a higher resolution size in the pixel boost option. Now, if needed, adjust the output image quality settings and then click start to generate the final image with the new face. Great, now you can see the face has been seamlessly swapped. You can download it directly here or navigate to the output folder to view all the images generated using this tool. All right, now let's try one more image with the same face. Uh, after that, we'll move on to swapping a face in a video. Great, right? So let's move on and see how to swap a face in a video using this amazing face fusion tool. All right, to do that, first upload the source. For this example, I've uploaded the same face as before. Next, upload the target. This should be a video in an acceptable format, like MP4. Run it up. Nice. Now let's swap the face in this video. Oh. 
Also guys, uh, you can preview the video here and notice the face looks quite blurry, right? To fix that, make sure to enable the face enhancer processor. Once enabled, you'll see the face becomes much smoother and clearer. Yes. You can also change the face enhancer model if you'd like, but I recommend keeping it set to the default option. After that, select a higher resolution in the pixel boost option to get a clearer face in the video. These two options combined will help us generate a smooth and realistic face in the final video. Okay, all right guys, the other options don't need to be changed, but you can adjust them if necessary. Now let's click start and check out the result. Oh wow, it looks amazing. Now, let's take a closer look and compare it with the original one. All right guys, I hope you've learned how to swap a face using Face Fusion for both images and videos. Plus, now you know what Mimic PC is capable of. It can run a wide range of tools from simple ones to complex tools like Comfy UI. So I invite you to give Mimic PC a try and share your thoughts in the comment section. And here's some good news for you. There's an offer for credits with a 40% discount so you can run any tool for a longer time at a lower cost. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. For now, goodbye.